Hi class, here is a quick review of how to use the site or domain search command in Google. As a refresher, the site or domain search command allows you to search for results in a specific website or domain. We won't get super technical about, for, about it for this class, so for our purposes, the domain is part of a site's web address or URL that is separated by dots or periods, and ultimately followed by two or three letters. Common examples include .com, .edu, .gov, or .org. To tell Google you want to limit your search to a specific site or domain, you have to use the command language the search system recognizes. In this case, when performing a search, type your search terms, aka keywords, then type the site command followed by a colon, and without using any spaces, follow with the site or domain you want to search. For example, you remember seeing an article a couple of months ago from the Wall Street Journal about dogs, and you want to find it again. Type your search term dogs followed by the site command and site domain for Wall Street Journal. Now, my search results include the search term dogs and are from the Wall Street Journal website. If I don't see the article I'm looking for right away, I can use the tools menu to limit to a specific time period like last month or year. I'll limit to past year since I don't remember exactly when the article was published, only that I saw it somewhat recently. There it is. Now I found the article I was looking for. In another example, I'm looking more generally for information about adoption of dogs, but I'm hoping to get information from nonprofit organizations. So I will try to search the top level domain of .org instead of a specific site. This time, my search results are from a variety of websites, but all have the .org domain. And all are about dogs or pet adoption. Finally, I want to point out that if you forget the command line for limiting your search to a specific domain or site, Google does have advanced search options to help you do this. Once you've performed a regular keyword search on Google, you can choose Advanced Search from the Settings option. and your search will port over to Google's advanced search screen, at which point you can begin to modify your search using advanced techniques as needed. If you'd rather just begin your search in Google Advanced Search, you can do that too. Just navigate to that page and begin your search. You'll see several options on Google's advanced search, which we'll explore throughout the unit. For this search, take note of the site or domain option where you can type in the domain you want to search. This time, we'll see results for dog or pet adoption from government websites with the .gov domain. And again, they're still about dog, pet, or animal adoptions. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope you found the tutorial helpful. If you have questions, let me know.